The next thing to consider is the draw. Now obviously you can have your holster in any position you want to. Strike a compromise between being in line with the targets and somewhere that's easily attainable with your hand or reachable with your hand. So normally with iPass you would start with your hands above your shoulders, okay? On the audible start signal you would draw the gun. Now, the best thing to do is to bring both your hands down as if you're shooting two guns, okay? So bring it down, hand on the, hand on the pistol, draw it out, hands together, and point towards the target. When it feels right, the gun comes out the holster in such a way you can't feel it break clear. It's as if you've just picked it up off of your belt, as if it's stuck to your belt. Uh, and that is another, also another very important thing. Uh, if your holster's in the wrong position, you'll feel unnecessary resistance from the gun in the holster. So you'll know when you've got it in the correct position because the gun will just come out as slick as anything. I know it might be tempting at times, but you don't take it out, twizzle it around your finger and put it back in again. It's irresponsible, it's bad range etiquette, and it's dangerous. So um, don't do it, guys. You're not right Rogers or, or the Lone Range or anything like that. For more information about the three on-site ranges, or for the latest air rifles and pistols, visit Ronnie Sunshines in Berkhamsted, Hertfordshire, or online shop ronniesunshines.com.